Harris Finds His Feet by Catherine Reiner Harris was a very small hare with very big feet. Why do I have such enormous feet, Grandad? Harris sighed. All hares have big feet, young Harris, said Grandad with a whiskery smile. I'll show you why. Grandad hopped high into the sky. Harry's copied. His small clumsy bouncers grew bigger and better and higher until he could spring like Grandad into the air. Then Grandad took Harris up, up, up to the very tops of the mountains. With your strong feet, he said, you can hop to the top of the world. And look at where the birds fly as the wind tickled your whiskers. Grandad showed Harris all the best things like how to dig a cool resting place in the earth when the days were hot. They stretched out together through long, lazy afternoons, listening to the insects buzzing and humming around them. Look, Grandad, Harris said, my feet can shade me from the sun. Every day, Harris learned more about his world. When a wolf came near, Grandad sat still as a stone. The most important thing about your big feet, he whispered, is they help you to run very fast. So Harris ran, feeling the bounce in his feet and the stretch in his legs. He ran faster and faster, as fast as fast, until he was on his own. Grandad, Harris cried, hopping back. Why aren't you running with me? Because I'm growing old. Little Harris, it's your turn to run. The world is yours to explore. And Harris ran, leaping over streams and bouncing through meadows on his big, strong feet that would take him to the end of the world and back home again.